Welcome to the vlog. I'm at another shoot currently in a hotel. This is a very nice one. Let me give you a quick tour. We've got a nice looking bar type of deal here. I don't know what that's for. Entrance. There's a little table here. Leftover dinner. Nice little couch. Entertainment center. King size bed. And always. Gotta have a nice shower. A little small, but pretty nice. So this is a one day shoot. So I'm gonna be in and out. Just got here today, gonna leave tomorrow. I'm actually in Pittsburgh and while we are walking to dinner, the downtown here is super nice, man. Really cool, lots of character. In fact, we walked by the place where we saw the Zelda Symphony a few years ago. I totally forgot that we were there, but anyways. Uh, now it's time for a shower, work tomorrow. I'll probably be back home when I check in with you, but anyways, good times. Okay, so it's been a very long time since I last filmed a video. After getting back from that shoot, we finished up a new episode of Adventure Archives. You can watch that right now at patreon.com slash adventure. At some point, I saw this amazing sunset. Then I went to this other video shoot, and then after dinner, we were walking down an alley, and it looked like the alley where Batman got killed, or his parents got killed. Who's mom and dad? It's you, you mom and dad. There's no problems with me. I'm Batman. We're a fruit pit. Then after that, I did a very entertaining live stream from my hotel room. Now I'm back home, semi back to normal. Nothing really to update you on other than Cobra Kai season two is incredible. Game of Thrones, even more incredible. Good times. having everything just buttoned up and good to go, like when you finish all of your laundry and your rooms are clean, and you're just like, bam! And you got everything, you're just like, Bleh! I've actually found that the easiest way to feel like that in general is to just worry about getting enough sleep and eating like a reasonably nutritious diet. And then all the other external things don't matter as much. If you can get the external things right too though, and you get that stuff right, who boy then you're sitting pretty. So I think I talked about it on one of my live streams, but lately I just had a major sweet tooth and I wanted to eat all the sugar. And I gotta take this thing to UPS and across the parking lot from the UPS, there is a donut store. Fortunately, I think my sweet tooth has somewhat subsided. So I'm probably gonna resist on the donut today, but I may get one anyway. <laughs> All right, it was a good class. I'm still debating whether I should get a donut or not. Donuts need to be a treat. If I eat the donuts all the time, then it's not really a treat. But at the same time, I haven't had donuts in so many years that it's still got that treat-ness to it. <laughs> uh... right. He's playing two parts, and he's imagining this as if he's playing against another person. So for whatever reason, Mortal Kombat 11 just looked amazing to me and I really wanted to play through the story mode. So I rented it. I didn't finish in time, unfortunately. I gotta go return this. But man, the graphics in this game are gorgeous. It is just amazing that I'm actually interested in a Mortal Kombat game. <laughs> The last time I cared about a Mortal Kombat game was Mortal Kombat 2. And pretty much the only reason I care about this one is because they have Mortal Kombat 2 versions of characters in it. <laughs> or is it Mortal Kombat 3? I don't know, but the story mode in that game, very entertaining. Just a hilarious game from top to bottom.
couple of updates. One, I put the Marimba back in the garage, but I did get this really nice drop cover for it. It was just taking up too much space in my office, and I still never used it, even though it was in there, so. Also, I gotta film some products, and I really just don't want to do it. Like, it is weird how resistant motivation can be sometimes. You're just like, I just don't want to do that at all. Even though I know once I get started, I'll enjoy it, I'll do a good job, it'll be fun. It's no problem whatsoever. But just the getting started, my body is just like, please, just don't do this. I'm like, well, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I don't know, but just not that. <laughs> so my strategy for today is I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. And then if I really, really don't like it while I'm doing it, and then I can stop and just do it tomorrow or whatever. But this way, I may even get done today. These lights are a humongous pain to set up. And my previous set of lights, I just left them assembled like this, but they got really messed up. So hopefully that doesn't happen with this pair, but I'm gonna do it anyway. In fact, I need to look into LED alternatives because this is just, look at this, man. Individual boxes for each light bulb. It takes forever to set these up. Okay, so I'm not using black for this. So I got a piece of white poster paper to put in here, which works beautifully to give you that completely white background. Okay, I'm all done for today until I know if they need any other shots anyway. I think that's the trickiest thing about client work in general is that you don't know exactly what they want and oftentimes they don't know what they want until they've seen something. So you kind of have to just like, like I can't be done today. I can't say, okay, I'm definitely tearing down the setup. Nothing else is needed. I need them to look at it first. That's not a complaint by any means. It's just an observation. But that is definitely why I vastly prefer my own creative projects because the person that says it's done and the person that's doing the work are the same person. So when I say it's done, it's done. One nice side effect though is that my kitchen is looking real nice. That is a good side effect. Now, it is time for a run. Let's go do that. That will do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. I know I was gonna get caught up, but we have to read this real quick. Alexander said, we will take Bill out for some lukewarm <laughs> plain mashed potatoes to get them all on the table. <laughs>